but yeah, so I was in this shop, Mesa, Arizona. Things were good. And then I think I just kind of ran its course. It had been, I stayed there for years, left on really good terms. Um, ended up going to a shop where Chester Bennington, the lead singer of Lincoln Park, was the counter help. What? Um, yeah. So <laughs> there was no Lincoln Park. There was just a band called Grey Days. And the, the drummer of Grey Days and the bassist of Grey Days uh, owned the shop. They actually came to me when I worked at uh, the other shop, what do you call it, Tattoo Gallery. And they're like, well, we, want to, we want to open a shop and we, we were wondering if you could give us some advice because we were, the bassist's name is Mace, great guy. We were tattooing Mace quite a bit at the shop. He got a whole back piece from the owner and stuff. And then Sean, Sean Dowdell was the other owner, he's the drummer. Uh, also a great guy, took me under his wing and we didn't leave on the best of terms, but a lot of that was me being kind of immature. Um, he actually owns multiple shops in Las Vegas now, which is a pretty hard place to kind of get, get your foot in, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and he's super, super successful. He's one of those people that I just knew he'd be super successful with whatever he did. I, I know he's authored several books and stuff and his shops are really nice. So I, I've got nothing but nice things to say about the guy. Like I said, didn't leave on the best terms myself, so that's on me. But anyway, um, so I eventually went and worked with those guys. And uh, yeah, it was odd as it was, Chester was the singer of their band, Grey Days. And he did just counter help and stuff. I, th I think he still owed me five bucks from like, you know, one day bottom of a sandwich. But I, w I remember I would go see him, I'd go see Grey Days. And I was floored because, you know, Chester Bennington's voice is ridiculous. And I was like, how are these guys not huge? And they were pretty good, pretty big locally, you mm -hmm. know? But uh, never in a million years, not only never in a million years would I have thought that this would happen, I didn't put it together until years later that it was him. Oddly, he didn't change the way he looked that much, but I remember like, I remember kind of him, I remember hearing about him uh, like trying out for a band, which was Linkin Park. Yeah. And everybody was excited for him and stuff. Even the guys in the band were excited for him because even though that meant that he was leaving, he was going on to a big deal. So I think Ch Linkin Park had been like known, but not anywhere to the level that Chester took him. But um, he, I remember years went by, like literally years. And then I ran into an old client that I tattooed there. And he's like crazy about Chester, huh? And I'm like, what? He's like, Chester Bennington, Lincoln Park. And he's, I'm like, what are you even talking about? And he's like, dude, Chester, your, your counter help. He's the fucking lead singer of Lincoln Park. And I was just like, what? Like I was fucking floored. I literally just didn't put it together. And uh, man, became a superstar, you know? And for any of the conspiracy people and that are wondering, you know, and his best friend was this, and they were going to tell the government this, and you see shit like that, I'm not going to talk much because I don't have the right to say it. But I knew Chester relatively well, and he was fucking very depressed. He was. It's real. Depression is a motherfucker. Even with all the fame and all the money and all the success, look what happened, you know? So I don't have any kind of facts or anything to prove, but I've definitely read all kinds of conspiracies about how it's fake and all this stuff and it's like I'm pretty sure to Chester I knew like I unfortunately could see it it's terrible you know and I believe Sean and Mace and the rest of the original band I believe that they were able to make a new Grey Days album maybe they were working on it with Chester before this all before the Linkin Park thing went down but I think that they, they, they re-released it so anybody that's a fan of, of Linkin Park or Grey Days Spelled D-A-Z-E. Uh, I check. I check it out, man. 